well we are learning uh, that uh, unanimous verdict by seven judge bench on bribes for vote case is out supreme court has in fact overruled the 1998 verdict in the pv narasimha rao case the apex court was deciding if lawmakers have immunity from prosecution for taking bribe to make speech cast vote in house whether legal immunity enjoyed by legislator under article 105 and 194 protects them from prosecution for taking bribes or not we have cnn news 18's uh, legal correspondent ananya bhatnagar joining us on the broadcast ananya please uh, help us put that into perspective for our viewers Well, definitely, this is a very, very crucial verdict that is now coming from the top of the country. Remember, this there was um, uh, Shita Sorian, who was a member of the uh, JNM, who had, uh, in fact, not the Supreme Court. The matter had travelled from the Supreme Court, and then finally, the Supreme Court has been shattered by the Chief Justice of India, Dr. Justice D.Y. Chandrasekhar. Now, when the Supreme Court categorically starts to clarify that no sign of a immunity is enjoyed by any uh, any parliamentarian, uh, when it comes to the taking bribes uh, for giving a vote in the parliament, uh, in in the house, or uh, you know, uh, taking a bribe for giving a speech in the house, so that is the immunity that is existing. Due to the 1998 judgment in the P.V. Narasimha Rao case, does not exist now. Uh, is what the Supreme Court is very, very categorically stated. Very clearly, um, putting uh, putting down and very clearly saying that you know, MPs and MPs can't claim immunity from prosecution on charges of bribery in connection with a vote for speech in the legislative house. We also want to say that the bribery is not rendered. Under Article 105, Part Two, or Part Nine, for the Constitution of India, bribery erodes probity in the public life, and the offence of bribery is gnostic, and it does not matter whether the uh, uh, does not matter whether the vote is cast in the uh, direction or not uh, cast at all. Bribery is complete when bribe is accepted. This was the Chief Justice of India. Let's. All right. I think we lost connection with uh, Ananya over there. But uh, if we were to talk about this big breaking news coming in straight from the Apex Court, is about the unanimous verdict by seven judge bench on bribes for vote case. All right. We have uh, Ananya back with us on the broadcast. Ananya, you were saying something over the Supreme Court's recent order. Would you like to read it again for our viewers? Well, definitely. I was reading down the par par part and portion of the order that uh, the Chief Justice of India itself read. Then it has very, very categorically been stated that you know uh, bribery is not rendered in the matter Article 195 of the Constitution. They also go on to say that bribery erodes the probity in public life. And and now over in the 1998 judgment uh, in the P.V. Narasimha Rao case, where uh, you know uh, MPs and MLAs were given uh, a particular immunity if they had uh, casted a vote or given a speech after taking a bribe. However, the Supreme Court clarified that the offence of bribery, uh, you know, uh, starts and ends. Uh, when a bribe is actually taken, and that's exactly why no kind of immunity can be granted to any kind of uh, MP or an MLA if at all uh, they take a bribe and uh, cast a vote or uh, give a speech in the Parliament of India. So that is a big, big uh, Parliament or any kind of a House uh, legislative House uh, is what the Supreme Court has gone on to say. So this judgment is coming in the immunity that uh, until now the MPs and MLAs enjoyed when it comes to bribery uh, uh, for, for for casting a vote or giving a speech in the Parliament or in In any kind of a legislative house is now completely gone. The Supreme Court goes on to say that it's a gnostic offence, and that's the reason why no kind of immunity can be actually granted. Right, and uh, just for the better perspective of our viewers, Ananya, could you take us back to the 1998's verdict in the P.V. Narasimha Rao case? Well, definitely. Uh, the 1998 verdict in the P.V. Narasimha Rao case. Was a three to two verdict uh, uh, that was given by, uh, in fact, the Supreme Court, where uh, you know uh, it was said that uh, the parliamentarians are immune uh, when it comes to uh, uh, taking a bribe for giving, uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, for giving a speech or casting a vote in the house. Uh, is uh, what that judgment had said, and challenging uh, that particular judgment, uh, uh, you know, um, appeal was made here. In the Supreme Court of India, first three judges bench of the Supreme Court, and then uh, seven judges bench of the top courts of the country has now uh, very clearly and categorically, in a unanimous verdict, has stated that no kind of immunity can be enjoyed when it comes to, uh, in fact, an offence of bribery. All right, Ananya, thank you so much for breaking that down for our 